I'm at Favors and I found this corduroy fabric. I think it's pretty, but I don't think I'm gonna get it, but it's so much fabric here. I am going to get this knit. It has all these little, what do you call them? I don't know, these little X's on it. Really cute. I'm gonna get that and then I think I'm gonna get this sheet. The knit fabric was only $3.99 and it seems like it's about two yards, maybe a little bit more. And I'm thinking I wanna make a dress out of this. And then the sheet is a queen sheet and it was $6.99. And I wanna use this as muslin fabric. I think I wanna make a jumpsuit. And if it works out, fine. If it doesn't, then I won't feel so bad. And by it being white, if I make it up and I love it, but I don't like the white, I can always dye it. I am in the process of measuring this knit fabric. I want to see just how much I have. It's folded in a little bit, so I know I'm missing some length because it's folded. But just a rough estimate, it looks like I have a little over two yards. Let me see how, how wide it is. It is... About 28 and a half so that's good I think this will be enough to make a uh, dress so I have Berta 6109 I made this before and now I'm thinking about making the dress because the first time I made it I made the top so the dress as you see it has cute little pockets in the front and yeah I think I'm gonna use this fabric for this pattern this fabric is one whole piece it's just like a big tube like this all the way down so I think that's pretty cool and let me give you a closer look of the print it's got all these little X's on it and it's nice and textured so I do like that too and it's pretty thick it's not a really thin fabric at all I opened up the pattern directions and I had made a note to myself one thing I noted was that this neckband is very narrow, so I am going to go ahead and widen this to make it easier to apply. But there are five pattern pieces. These Berta patterns have these little dots that are filled in to let you know how easy or difficult the pattern is. This one has one dot, so it's supposed to be super easy. The pattern does call for three and a quarter inch wide rib knit to go around the waist for the top and around the sleeves for the top and the dress. The pattern does tell you how long the sleeve band needs to be and also how long the waistband needs to be. And I didn't use any rib knit. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the fashion fabric and add this to the end of the sleeves. Okay, this Amazon truck just pulled up and I'm like, ooh, ooh, is he coming here? So I've been waiting. He doesn't know I'm watching him. I'm like, come on. I see that package in your hand. What are you gonna do with it? I did order about three things. I can't remember when it's, okay, wait. I can't remember when it's supposed to come. Okay, here he comes, let's see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, he went across the street. Oh, man. I'm putting the dress on the dress form because I want to take a sneak peek and see how it's looking. I have the neckband on and the pocket and I will be doing the sleeves next. And the sleeves are gathered at the top, like in the sleeve cap area. So I think that should be cute. Okay, all right, I'm liking this. It fits a little snug. I hope it's not gonna be too tight on me. Look at this, look at how snug it fits. But it's cute, I think. It's got a seam down the back. This was on the fabric. So, it's a little line there. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah. Here is the seam that goes down the back. So this is the wrong side of the fabric. So you can see that this seam goes all the way up. And I just cut it out on the fold. I just made sure that the fold was on this seam line. I ended up taking the neckband off and just doing a narrow hem and I also widened the neckband. And then for the bottom, I was going to hem it, but it keeps rolling up. So I did cut out a band and I'm just gonna add a band to the bottom of the dress. I'm using that sheet that I purchased at the thrift store. 
and I'm making my next sewing project. So in this video, my plan is to have three sewing makes to share with you. I just completed this easy pajama pattern, Butterick 6296. I made the top and this is it here from the bed sheet. And I made view A, which is the shorter version, but I use long sleeves. And now I'm at the point where I need to put on the buttons. It's supposed to have four buttons, but I'm only going to put on three. I also did not add any piping. There is piping that you can put all around the top, also on the shorts or on the bottom of the pants. I chose not to put any piping and I also didn't put any pockets on my shirt. Now I'm making the pants to go with the top. These pants do have front pockets. There is a yoke in the back of the pants. The pants have a waistband and this is one inch wide elastic that will go through the waistband. I purchased a set of botkins a while ago and I'm actually using one of the botkins now for the first time. It made it a lot easier to pull the elastic through the opening. So now I can just Lap the ends together and try it on. Here's the botkin. I like this thing. It has a nice grip. So you pull this back and then I'm going to pin this together and try the pants on. The front of the pants and I really like the way they look in the back with the back yoke. I think the line on the yoke just gives the pants a little character. I think it's really cute. I absolutely love these quote unquote pajamas. I feel like I can see myself wearing this out like a real outfit. I just love it so much. So it's very comfortable. You have the front pockets and the buttons down the front. I did make a size six and I love it. I can see opening up the front and putting a top under it and wearing it like that. I can see this with some sandals. I can see it like tucked in. Let me see how that would look. Kind of tuck it in. Maybe not all the way. Maybe tuck in the front or something. Maybe, I don't know. Or tuck in the front and leave the back out. Let's see how that would look. Maybe, huh? I love it. I love these so stinking much, but I definitely don't want to wear them to bed. Earlier in the week, I wore this Simplicity 8740 garment on top of this new look 6525 dress. I just tried this snack for the first time. It is so good. I wasn't expecting it to be so good. So it's like little crackers and things, pretzels. But it's not just salt and pepper. It's something else on here that is just yummy. I never knew that. And I saw these in the grocery store the other day. And I was like, mm. But now, shoot, I might have to get these.